What is up, everybody? Wait a minute. Is this a second Albion online video of the week? That is true. And you bet your sweet ass is going to be more coming to you. So um, I, I know that I've been online people that come on in, which is, I think, most of you for sure. I've been asking for more. I'm here to bring it to you. Um, a second video a week once I get more into Hellgates and into corrupted dungeons when those finally come out You will be seeing more of those but in the meantime I have a couple of more ideas I'm gonna get through and today we are gonna do a little bit of a Q&A on some of the mm, Some of the questions that y'all have had in the, in, the, in the comment section and stuff like that um, But the first question I want to get through is a question of this video that I want to ask you guys comment below which weapon uh which weapon tree are you going into are you going to the swords axes somewhere in the in the mage side of things maybe bows don't go into bows i'm can do what you want but i'm gonna think less if you go into bows if you go to the streams you know why um all jokes aside let's get into the video i have a couple of questions here i'm, I'm not gonna say who um did the questions if you comment like yeah you know let me know who did it and stuff like that then that's one thing but Let's get into it. So this first one is just normal tips on the sword tree. People who want to get into swords. Um, and I responded, but mainly, if you want to get into swords, highly recommend it. Swords are fantastic. That's why I got into them. Uh, they're very multi-purpose, as you can see here. All the swords around me. There, you can do PVE with them. You can do PVP with them. Very nice stuff. Uh, if you want to do more on the PVP side small scale i would go with the carving sword carving sword is good for pretty much all ranges of pvp in my opinion um if you go into zvz's i haven't done it personally but from my understanding galantine pairs are very very good for the uh zerg v zerg guild versus guild type of uh gameplay uh, also i i like the broadsword crypt candle combo it's a very very high damage and the e has an interrupt which so one-on-one -on -one purposes maybe even 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 in some 2v2 situations the broadsword crypt candle broadsword music has a place in there all right um next oh, oh, oh also for pve in the sword builds claret blade is like your top one you want to go with followed by carving sword and then after that Mm, the, the rest of them are, are pretty similar in my opinion but if you want like a really really good sword for pve go clear and blade uh next okay uh, this one is uh do should you risk going into the red zone um for gathering for like early game gathering my question my answer to that is yes once you hit tier five gathering go into the red zone uh, go into tier six red zones and even tier five and tier six black zones uh, with a a very cheap horse very cheap gear uh, and the reason you want to do that is the, the 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 nodes you get in more in like a tier six red zone or a tier six black zone you're gonna have more enchanted uh fabrics or more more enchanted um materials that you can gather there which go for more money and so on and so forth so yes uh go into the the hot the hot spicy zones with some cheap gear cheap horses don't don't ever use oxes because oxes are uh just they're just not good for resource gathering at the moment uh, let's see what else here oh how to get levels how, how, how to get levels fast how, how, do, how do you you know best tips for fame farming basically um honestly go into go into red for combat red and black zones even tier five black zones with like cheap gear can get you a lot of fame per normal mob kill. So I recommend doing that. Yes, you might lose all your stuff. Yes, you might get ganked constantly. However, that's why you bring in very, you know, very cheap gear. And heck, heck, even if you get out of the dungeon with some loot, you're going to make some pretty good money, especially early in the game. Highly recommend there. Don't be too afraid, okay? Just don't do it in Martlock because... There, there happens to be a guild there that's very, very high on the uh, gank ability list. So just be careful about that. Um, let's see what this one says. I'm not going to do that one. Okay, so this one is when should you go to the red or the black zones? Um, in my opinion, you should go to a red or a black zone when you think you have enough capital to support rebuying any type of gear you might lose in the red zone or black zone. For example, when I first started playing, I was terrified. A lot of people are afraid to go into red and black zones. And early on, maybe you should be because you do lose it all if you die, right? Um, so what I did, I was like, you know what? Once I get to 1 million silver, I can afford uh, I can afford to rebuy any type of gear 
that I lose, right? And so, and, and with that kind of attitude, start with only tier four, tier 4.1, tier five gear, something that's super cheap. That if you go, if you go into a dungeon and you get out alive, you're gonna make your money back easily. Or if you go down, it's not the end of the world and you can get back into it immediately, all right? So I would say go in there, you know, okay. To, to give you a number, get 1 million silver and then you should be good to go. Um, but that, that, that's just that's anecdotal. You, you can, you know, kind of base it off on your own there. All right, and uh, that's gonna do it, guys. That's, that's all the that's all the questions I've had. You know, it's a short video, nothing too special. But I do want to say that I am gonna from here on out, I'm gonna bring in two Albion online videos a week. Uh, the first one on Mondays are always gonna be some kind of like guide videos, some kind of tips, some things that you can implement as someone as a new player. The second video is either gonna be like a Q and A like this, or I'm thinking about doing um, different solo builds you can use, like you know, different ideas using axes, uh, stabs, or swords that you can try to use for yourself or something that I found, maybe a little diamond in the rough, that's a god tier clear speeding type of deal for PvE or even for PvP. All right, and then once I get more, um, more familiar with Hellgates and even when the Corrupted Dungeon stuff comes out later, I don't know when they're supposed to come out, but they, they're talking about it, right? Then you're going to see a lot more down on the channel as well. And that's going to be it, guys. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Get the SEO, get the algorithm going, get more people in the community. And then we're going to make something great. All right, guys, I am out of here.